I'm meteorologist Ashley Brown from RTV6. You're watching AMPS TV. Uh, I am in the morning meteorologist, so I go on air at about 4.27 in the morning on Good Morning Indiana. It's the name of our show. Uh, and I stay on air to about, I've gone on and off to about 9 a.m. in the morning, so I do morning weather. Uh, yeah, love weather. Uh, I've always loved weather. Uh, when I was a kid, it's actually a funny story. I used to do two things. Take pictures of clouds, and then I used to get in my closet and pretend like I was a radio DJ, like Casey Kasem, and count down music and stuff like that. So, um, when I got a little older, you know, I did radio for a long time here locally at Hot 96.3 and the Smooth Jazz Station. Uh, I did the whole radio thing, and I was still very interested in weather. Uh, so, uh, my major was meteorology in school, and I started going into uh, different stations and shadowing other meteorologists, and I just kind of put together my two loves. So I get to talk, and I get to talk about weather. Yeah, yeah, it was a different name. I was under the name Coco Brown for a long time at Hot 96.3, and then uh, Smooth Jazz 100.9 and a little WTLC. So yeah, I, I worked there for a while. Uh, yeah, I think I had the perfect mix because I went to North Central High School and there they had a program called J. Everlight, uh, the radio TV program. So I did radio and TV when I was in high school, junior and senior year. Um, and by the time I got to college, I went to Ball State and I majored in meteorology. So my degree is actually in meteorology and uh, with a minor in broadcasting. Cooper Science Building. So you've been you're <laughs> Indiana native since the start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Born and bred right here in Indiana. Uh, the only time that I left is to go to California. I worked in California for about five, six years. I did weather out there. Um, so I've only been back in Indy for two years. But local girl, couldn't wait to get back here. I miss California weather, weather when it's cold out here. But yeah. Or are you satisfied? I mean. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, it's hard to be satisfied um, just kind of doing what you're doing. I love my job. I absolutely love it. Uh, but I also love, you know, talking to kids about weather. I love explaining weather. And um, I love, right now, I love waking up in the morning, coming here and explaining weather. But, you know, things change. And hopefully I'm still doing weather in the next 10, 15 years. But if I'm not actually on TV doing weather, I think I'll probably be doing weather, uh, talking to kids about it or teaching it in some capacity because I do love talking about weather, I love talking about broadcasting, and um, I talk about it to everyone who's around me. Anyone who's my friend, no, they either A, they've received pictures of clouds, or B, they've asked a simple question and they got an overly complicated answer for me about weather. So I'm always gonna be talking about weather and okay. how I feel about it. My entire family is here. I was raised by my grandmother and my mother. They're both here and they get to watch me on TV every day, which is cool because, you know, when I was in California, they didn't get to see what I do for a living. So now they get to watch me on TV and um, I come from a huge family. So um, everyone's here, so it's good. So I'm home with everyone else. Any brothers and sisters? I have, I have one sister who is almost 21 now, so she's a little younger than me. And, uh, but I was raised with all of my cousins, quite a few of them as sisters and brothers. We were all raised in the same house, so huge family. Um, you know what? I don't know if I saw myself doing anything. Like, I grew up mostly there on Washington Boulevard on 30th Street, so I don't think I saw myself doing this, definitely. I think it's just one of those things that it slowly happened. Like, uh, I had a passion for learning, and, you know, there was things that I absolutely loved doing, but I didn't really put it together. You know, I was a decent student. I wasn't a great student. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I, like, envisioned the future when I was younger. I, didn't, I think it was maybe in high school when I started to see, like, hey, Maybe I can do a little more. Maybe there was people who pulled my coattail and was just like, hey, you could be good at this. One of them was like a local radio DJ here, Guy Black. Um, he was probably one of the first people that was like, hey, you have a really cool voice. You should do radio or see what that's about. So I interned with him for a long time and he kind of put little things in my head like, hey, you should do this and you should do that. So yeah, so I think it was just slowly over time, I got the vision of what I wanted to do in life. And I think that's how it happens for most kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. I have no children um, and I absolutely love weather so much that my personal life is here. Okay. Um, whenever there's a storm or something, I'm texting with the other meteorologists, I'm on my way here or looking at it on the weather channel. So uh, that's pretty much my personal life. As far as like 
being home, it's different from being like in another city because my family's here. So whenever I'm home, I'm usually at my cousin's house or my grandmother's house or so that's pretty much my free time. What I like to do most is, is just nothing, I guess. <laughs> it's nothing. Yeah, I like, to, I like to take a long walk. I like to just relax and, and hang out and just do nothing. That's what I like to do. Home. I like being home. I, I really do. It, you know, my ideal of the perfect Saturday, I'm going to take you to my world. <laughs> I pop on the Weather Channel. I crank it up. I put it, go into another room, put on a little jazz music, have a project that I'm doing at home, like maybe painting a wall or whatever it is, and maybe I'm doing dishes, and that's fun for me. Have the windows open, a nice breeze moving through. That's, a, that's my idea of a good time. <laughs> that's my, my peaceful place. But you know the weather I love most? I love thunderstorms the most. And I love like relaxing during the thunderstorm because you know I know what's happening. But usually during a thunderstorm, I'm at work. Yeah. So... <laughs> So I find that weird. Whenever I'm here and there's like storms, I'm always telling everyone who's in the studio, I'm like, oh man, it'll be great to be home on the couch, just <laughs> watching this thing roll in on my PJs instead of here, like in a suit and makeup, explaining it to everyone. That's fun too, but you know, hmm. I would like to enjoy it from the other way some days. Mm -hmm. Number one, I love sweats. Don't really like getting dressed sweats. up. Yeah, like sweatpants. Like, I don't like really getting dressed up. Okay. Um, my idea of a good time is just, that's why I love doing radio. I was just always in sweats. Uh, number two, I hate exercise. <laughs> I feel like everyone today is so healthy. Everyone wants to go for a run and a walk, and that's their idea of a good time. Working out is not my idea of a good time. I mean, every once in a while I have to do it, but no, that's not fun. Um, number three, um, surprise to know about me. Um, I don't know if this is a surprise because I used to be a DJ, but I love music. I love old music. I love old jazz. I love old blues, blues music. I even like newer hip hop music. Depends. <laughs> but, uh, but I like I like everything. I understand that statement. Yeah, yeah, it depends. I even like you know I like country music. I like rock music. So I, I love music. I'm a big music fan. Um, number four. This one's actually funny because my coworkers know it and they make fun of me. I watch Law and Order SVU. Like there's nobody's business. Like I will watch as much Law and Order as you. I've seen it 20 times. If it comes on right now, then I'm ignoring you, and I'm just like, oh man, what's happening? Number five, uh, I guess not surprising once again uh, when you know me, but I have pictures of clouds all over my house. Just different cloud formations, um, framed um, and decorative. But yeah, there's pictures all over my house of just different cloud formations from different areas that I've actually taken pictures of myself. Uh, so like. You know, I've been in St. Louis before, saw some, you know, a wall cloud building and I took a picture and saw some thunderstorms moving into California when I lived there in Palm Springs and there's pictures framed on the wall. So any time I see a cool formation of clouds or something I haven't, I haven't really experienced myself before I take a picture of it. Um, actually, I, I did something just last week. A lot of the times I go out to schools and I talk to kids about weather. And it's normally uh, when they're about to go into their weather segment in class. Um, last week I was at an IPS school and we were talking about weather. And it's funny because the teachers were saying the kids are not going to pay attention for this longer period of time. But I think I have such a passion for weather that the kids are kind of like, what is she talking about? That she's so excited about. Um, so, yeah, I love talking to kids about weather and getting them to change their mind on something that sounds boring. Because I think in their mind, when they hear meteorologists, it doesn't sound terribly exciting. It doesn't sound terribly exciting to me. But <laughs> when I explain, I think, weather, I, I hope that they get excited. And sometimes you see the light in their eyes, that just one light go off that goes like, oh, I'm going to start looking up a little bit. Um, you know what? I hope that they're just inspired to go after their passion. I'm passionate about weather. I love weather. And I had a dream or a goal to do this professionally, and that's exactly what I did. Um, so I hope, he, especially here in my hometown, I hope that kids just like me see me and go, hmm, you know what? She loves what she does, and I want to grow up and find a job that I love what I do. So I, I think that's probably what I hope that I inspire most. Not necessarily being a, a, a role model, but more of a, a, a dream model of like you can have. Uh, what you want if you work hard enough for it and I definitely worked hard for, for it. Um, it wasn't easy to get here. 
You know what? I don't mind being a, I don't mind being a role model, I guess, per se. Um, especially when it comes to um, having a dream, chasing after it, and, and and getting that dream. If that's if that's what you're speaking of, then yeah, I don't mind being a role model um, for kids. If I inspire you to do better than what you're doing right now, then yeah, call me a role model. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I wouldn't set myself up there. Um, yeah, only thing I can say is what someone told me once, you know, you do what you love in life and you never work a day in your life. I'm meteorologist Ashley Brown from RTV6. You're watching Amps TV.